Good evening, everyone. Good evening, good evening. Can oh, you hear me? Yes, yes, perfectly. All right, how are you tonight? Very, very fine, thank you. Excellent. Thank you. I'm great, thanks for asking. And the rest of you, everyone, how do you feel today? I'm fine, uh -huh. teacher. Excellent, very I'm good. Fine, teacher. Very nice. All right. We are on Wednesday. So basically, we are in the middle of the week. So imagine time flies. So just a reminder, I have seen some of you haven't worked on the platform. So remember, it's, fr it's Wednesday and every Friday, I need to upgrade your advanced okay so please try to work on the platform some of you already finished the week number one so great job so please try to work in your free time at least a little bit okay so sure. welcome yes i have a problem with the Tell platform me. Uh, my user or password uh, don't doesn't work yes <laughs> all right um let's do something edwin in your case i need you to send me a screenshot uh, when you try to access send me a screenshot about the message that appears and i will uh, send to the staff so they can check what the problem is okay okay very good. Anybody Thank else? You, You're very welcome. If you have any problem with the platform, please tell me and I will try to help. Okay. Let's see. The rest of you, please try. Try to work on the platform every single day. Okay. Now, today we are going to study new topics and we are going to have more practice. Um, let's see. Yesterday we had an activity, so today we are going to present the results. Okay, so we are going to wait for the people to come here to the class. And thank you, everybody, for being on time. That's great. Now, let's see. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to share the presentation. Give me one second. All right, can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so today is February. First, so finally January is over. <laughs> Did you feel that January is like very, very long? Don't you feel that? Did somebody have a birthday on February, in February? No, nobody? All right, well, let's start today's class. This is the topic that we studied yesterday, would be and could be. Do you remember when do we use these verbs? What is the scenario where we use these verbs? Do you remember? For futures, um, is, um, for the future principally. Mm -hmm. So it's a future that we are 100% sure or just when the future is just like a possibility? What do you think? With possibilities. That's the one. So exactly. We use would be and could be normally when we are talking about possibilities. All right. Very good. So what is the structure that I need to follow? Can you give me sentences using would be or could be? Uh-huh. 
For example, what will you do this weekend? Hmm, this weekend maybe I could be at home. Or maybe mm, I will be at church in the afternoon. So how about you, everybody? What are your plans for this weekend? So complete the sentences, please, but using would be or could be. Any idea? I could be visiting my parents. Okay, I could be visiting your parents or I could visit my parents. Remember that we can use different verbs, not only the verb to be, right? What else? Another idea? What are your plans for this weekend? Uh -huh. Anybody else? Let's see if you remember the topic. I could be play soccer. Okay. <laughs> Now, let's analyze that sentence because I like that. Remember, I could be play soccer. In this case, everybody, you have to keep in mind something. If you have the verb to be, you cannot have like another verb. So instead of be, we can use only the verb play, right? So you can say, I could play. play soccer, exactly. If you use the verb be, so in that case, let's remove the next verb. So you have to be very careful with that, okay? If you want to put the two verbs together, so what we can do is to add ing to the next verb. But my recommendation is just to delete the verb to be. Okay, we can use different verbs. What else? So what are your plans for this weekend? Uh huh. Any other plan, everyone? Uh huh. What would you do? Remember, I could or I would. What are your plans for this weekend? Extra points for the volunteers. Participation. I could go to the beach. Very good. I could go to the beach. If you see in these sentences, we are just talking about a possibility, right? We are not 100% sure that this is going to happen. We just say, oh, it's a possibility, all right? Excellent job. Now, yesterday we had a practice. We had an activity where you created some benefits using would and could. All of you have to choose a company, like a famous company, and name three benefits. So that is what we are going to check uh, today. But before checking that, I'm going to check attendance and then we, every group is going to present. So let's check attendance. When you listen to your names, say present, please. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Okay. Andrea Amalia Garcia. Andrea Amalia. Okay. Atilio Ernesto. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Blanca Elizabeth. Okay. Brandon Josue. Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto. Okay. Celia Cristina. Present. Okay. Héctor Iván. Right. Henry Alberto. Oh, he's listener. Okay. Um, let's see. Jorge Antonio Sanchez. Present, did you? Okay. Jonathan. Oh, sorry. 
Jorge, Jorge Antonio. Is you yes. right? Yes, thank you. Okay, Jorge Jonathan. Jorge Jonathan. Okay. Um, Jose Ezequiel Guzman. Jose Ezequiel. Juan Antonio Elias. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose Herrera. Juan Jose Herrera. All right, Karen Rocio. Present. Thank you. Carla Sofía. Present. All right, Carol Elizabeth. Present me. All right, Kenya Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Lady Xiomara, well, she's listener. Okay, very good. Luis Miguel Corvera. Present. Thank you. Uh, Nelson Orlando, I think that he's not here, right? Salvador Present. Ernesto Ló. Present okay. Nelson Orlando. Okay, thank you. Salvador Ernesto. Okay. Sandra Abigail. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Michelle. Okay. And Jan Siquelita. Okay. Uh, Jose Marvin. Hi, teacher. Present. All right. Y Edwin Enrique. Present, teacher. Excellent. Okay. ¿Hay alguien a quien no mencionara? Or did I mention everyone? Okay, nice. Well, yesterday we had different teams, so I will be asking for the activity one by one. I have the team number one. In the team number one, it was Abigail, eh, Atilio, and Juan Jose. So, who is going to present? I need a volunteer from that team. Uh -huh. Team number one, Abigail, Atilio, or Juan Jose. What was the company that you chose? Nobody? Oh my goodness. Atilio, Abigail, or Juan? What was what was the company that you chose? Project could have a game room. Uh huh. And the employee could have a app for free. Mm -hmm. uh, the employee could work just four days a um, week. All right. Sounds good. Benefits. So, but what is the name of the company? Uh, Juan. No recuerdo. Juan. <laughs> ¿Cuál era? Uh -huh, Abigail, help her, help, um, help him. What was the name of the company? Or oh, you don't remember? Good All right. Google company. company. Which one? Google company. Ah, oh, okay, sounds good. Good benefits, good sentences. Okay, thank you, Atilio. Now, team number two, in the, name, in the team number two, I have Celia, Cristina, Carla, Sofia, and Luis Miguel. So, team number two, what was the name of the company that you chose? Hi, uh, we chose uh, the company Tesla. Oh, okay. So, what are the benefits that the employees will have? Uh, the employees could take a Model S. <laughs> the second, the employees could be free internet. And the, <laughs> the employees could be fly to the space. Fly to the space? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's inter interesting. Okay, so can you repeat the sentence number two? The employees... Could be free internet. Could be free internet. Mm, okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Carla. Okay. Team number 
three. In the team number three, I have, mm -mm, let's see, let's see, Lady Xiomara, Tony, Abigail Mejia, I guess. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay, so what was I the name share, of the company? Uh, I have three, three companies, different companies. Um, right. For Abigail, is Bijosa. Uh -huh. Abigail, can you hear me? Okay, could you please um, explain the, the three sentences, please? Thank you. Uh, sure. Um, I call, I call by cheaper medicine. I call work by home office. And I call have a better monetary bonus. Mm, all right, good benefits. Uh huh. Uh, I think that lady is is listener in this moment. So Tony, explain yours. Okay. Um, my um, famous company. Um, I choose the NASA for the famous company, and I could travel to the moon and Mars. I could live in Cabo Canaveral, and I could do experiments on the space station. All right. What kind of experiments? Hmm. Mm. With with aliens? <laughs> oh my god. All, all type of experiments. <laughs> with that, persons. Oh my god. <laughs> oh oh my goodness. That sounds a little bit scary, but nice. All right. Thank you, Tony. Okay. Now in the next team. I have Carlos, I have Ezequiel and Henry. So team number five, tell me, what was the name of the company that you chose? Uh-huh. Nobody for the team number five? Carlos, Ezequiel? No? Henry. Oh, he's listener in this moment. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Let's move on to the next team in that case. Okay, and the last team was Elwin, Jorge Antonio, and Karen Rocio. Uh-huh, team, what was the company that you chose? Only one, please. Hello. All right. Teacher, I I don't remember. <laughs> the, the the company is Apple. Apple. Okay, the company was Apple. Cool, nice company. Can uh, you tell me the benefits? I remember one benefit. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell me. The rest of the uh, team will help you. <laughs> okay. Employees. Number one. Employees. Could have bonus. Could have bonus. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, number two. And uh, police could have a school trip for their children. Uh, edu oh, so free education, basically. Uh, number three. And uh, police could have free electronic equipment. 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 Ah, all right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Thank you, Karen. All right. Excellent teams. Very good job. Nice um, companies, the ones that you chose. And remember, the idea is that we had to be able to use would and could. But also imagine that um, you are describing your job. So I will ask you, what are the benefits that you will get if you work for this company? So you will be able to describe it, all right? Now, important details that we need to keep in mind, please. For example, in this sentence, the employees could be free internet. Mm, what do you think? Is this sentence correct or can we change something? What do you think? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Could we change something? Podría ponerse el have. 
No. Very good. So instead of B, remember B, what will be the translation? Ah, employees podrían ser, no, right? So instead of B, we can use another one. We can say have. So employees could have free internet or employees could get free internet. Okay? Nice. Now, be careful with the pronunciation. This is for everyone. What is the pronunciation of this word? Employees. Very good. Employees. Employees. Exactly. Employees. Correct. Now, I have this verb. This one is in present. This is in past. So what is the pronunciation in present? Choose. 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 Exactly. Choose. Choose. What is the Choose. pronunciation in past? Chose. Chose. Okay. Chose. So in present, it sounds like a you. Choose. 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 In past, Choose. it sounds like a o. Chose. 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 Okay. So that's the difference according to the pronunciation in these verbs. Be careful with that. Now, excellent job. Let's move on to the topics that we are going to study today. And the topic is how to use time expressions. Okay, that is the topic for today. I need a volunteer for reading the objective, please. Volunteer for reading the objective. Picture. Yes, go ahead. Class objective. At the end of the class, participants will create their own conversation to talk about work experience using time expressions. Thank you. So that's the idea. We are going to see some of the most common time expressions. So the idea is that you can use it in a conversation, okay? So in the most common time expressions, we have the, well, we have a lot of time expressions, but we're going to see like the most common one. Before that, let's answer these questions. For example, how long have you worked in your company? Hmm. Hi, uh -huh, everybody. Can you tell me how long have you worked in your company? Volunteer? One year, one month, 10 years. I don't know. How long? If I don't have. If I don't have volunteers, I, I have to ask one by one. My teacher. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, uh, in my case, I have uh, six years in, in this company. Six years, very yeah. good. That, that's a lot of time, all right. Who else? Yeah. Uh -huh. Who else? How long have you worked in your company? I have eight years. Eight years. All right. That's a long time, too. Okay. What else? Anybody else? Uh -huh. I have one year. One year. Very good. Very good. The last one. Any other volunteer? In in my case, have five years. Five years, a long time too, very good. So imagine, have you occupied different positions or it's the same position? What do you think? I, in my case, the same positions. The same position, okay, thank you. And the rest of you, what do you think? In my case, in this company, I start um, 
that uh, packaging supervisor mm -hmm. and um, three three years ago I am a manager production very good nice mm -hmm. job excellent uh-huh anybody else Remember, the idea is that everybody participate. I want you to talk, okay? Anybody else? Have you occupied different positions? In position, my company, uh, I supervise solid route. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Now, how long have you studied English? Let's see if you remember. Hmm. Uh, hi, everyone. Six months. Six months. Okay, very good. Who else? How long have you studied English? Ha, huh, do you remember? Uh, six months. I mean. Six months. Two, okay. Anybody else? A different time or everybody have studied six months? Yeah, six I months. six months last year. Okay. Uh, a few years ago, I studied two years too. Ah, all right, very good, very good. So if you paid attention, when you were answering, you were using some time expressions. So that's the idea. We're going to see some of the most common one. Now, we're going to discuss this conversation. As always, I will need some volunteers. So who wants to read? Only two, please. Uh -huh. teacher. Thank you, Jorge. Okay. And I, teacher. Who say I? Edwin? Edwin. Edwin. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, boys. Very good. Okay, Jorge, you will be Julio. Edwin, you will be Anna. Okay? So let's start reading, please. Okay. Tell me about your work experience. I worked at Unilever for five years. Actually, I worked in this company for 2011 to 2016. I quit because I was offered a new job in Panama. And what happened there? And what happened there? I was just for a short period of time. It was just for eight months until my project was done. Then I came back to El Salvador. And you have a not worked since you came back? Not really. I have done some independent jobs, you know, but they have not been for long. All right, thank you, boys. Very nice. So, can you identify what are the time expressions? Uh huh. What are the time expressions that you used? From two. Uh -huh. From two. Then until science. science. Long. Exactly. Those are some of the most common time expressions. Not the only ones, but the most common. Now, let's answer the questions. Let's see if you paid attention to the conversation. When, uh, talking about the conversation, when did Anna start working in Unilever? Uh -huh. And when did she stop? Twenty eleventh and twenty or two twenty sixteen. Sixteen, very good, excellent. Uh huh. And why did she quit? Do you know what is the meaning of quit? 
rápido. Salió. Kind of. Imagine quit is, for example, when you don't want to continue doing an action. And you okay. say, I oh, know, I quit. I give up. I don't want to do this anymore. Okay. Imagine that you are working and you don't like your job. What do you do? You quit. So what is that? What could be the translation? En nuestro país es renunciar o irse del trabajo. That's correct. Exactly. So that is the meaning of quit. So write it down, write it down. So why? Why did she quit? Because she was just for a short period of time. Okay. Look. I think because I was offered a new job in Panama. Exactly. That's why she quit. It was because she got another offer and she went to Panama. It was just for a few time, but that's why. So imagine if I ask you, everybody, think about your previous job. Why did you quit? This is a very common question when you go to an interview. Why did you quit in your previous job? Uh -huh. Volunteer to tell me, please. Uh -huh. can you can you repeat please yes why did you quit your previous job i quit because i don't like my work you didn't like your work Okay. All right, okay. that's a good reason. <laughs> that's a good reason. Yeah, very good. Who I quit. Else? I quit because Tony signed me for the new job. Ah, very good. Nice. What else? Any other volunteer? Why did you quit? I quit because I needed a study. Okay, very good. Anyone else? Okay, so write it down the vocabulary, please. Remember, tomorrow I will ask you. And the last one, have you ever done independent jobs? Everyone? Have you? No? Yes. Ah, very good. Celia, what type of independent jobs? What do you do? I am a lawyer, independent. Ah, very good. Excellent. Anyone else? Have you ever done independent jobs? No? Teacher. Uh -huh. uh, I have... Um... How do you say auditoria uh, in English? Oh. Hmm. Let me check. I'm going to search on the dictionary because I'm not sure, honestly. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, you can say audit. Look. Audit. Mm -hmm. audit. Look. Audit. Okay. I have that commercial audit to other enterprises. Ah, interesting, very nice. All right, so guys, very good. Thank you to the ones who always participate in answering the questions. Now, let's see a little bit of grammar, okay? We are going to see the different STEM expressions. This information is in your manuals in the page 14, okay? So the first time expressions that we are going to see is for, okay? How can we use for? For is when you want to express the time that the action 
lasts. Okay, so you need the preposition for, and then you need to say the period of time. For example, I worked in Indiana for seven years. Or in the sentences that you told me, how long have you worked in your company? Some of you say, ah, I have worked for five years. How long have you studied English? Ah, I studied English for six months. So we need to say for and then the period of time. Okay? Imagine if I ask you, hmm, how long, for example, and I need you to answer using for, how long have you had your cell phone? Uh huh. Can you answer using four, please? How long have you had your cell phone? I yeah, have. Uh, I have for uh, two years ago. All right, for two years. Very good. What else? Who else? I have my cell phone for four years. Four years, a lot of time. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Uh huh. Who else? How long have you had your cell phone? For two years. For two years. All yes. right. So you oh. see, we are using for. So remember, we need the word for and then just the time expression the period of time okay now what is the difference with since since is to specify the point when the action started okay for example if i say how long have you studied English. I'm not going to say the period. I'm going to say when the action started. For example, ah, since, uh, for example, since September. Okay. I'm not saying how long. I'm not saying the period of time. I'm just saying when the action started. All right, so imagine if I say, hey, how long? And I want you to answer using since. How long have you worked in your company? You cannot say for five years. So you have to tell me when the action started. So what will be the answer here? Since? Mm -hmm. What will be the answer? I worked uh, since uh, uh, 2010. Very good. Excellent. If you see, he said when the action started. Okay. Who else? Can you tell me how long have you worked in your company? Times November 2019. All right. So pronunciation since. Uh -huh. Since November 2019. Very good. Excellent. So we are saying when the action started. Is it clear the difference, everyone, between for and since? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Are you sure? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, we are going to have a practice. So remember that this information is in your manual. But if you want to copy or take a screenshot or copy the examples, you can do it. I will give you one minute. 
if you want to copy, do it, please. And we are going to have a practice. So we are going to have a practice about for and since, and then I'm going to explain the preposition from, okay? Ready for the practice? Yes? Okay, let's move on. So let's practice about for and since. I'm going to show you some expressions and you have to decide if you can use for or since for these expressions. For example, if I say last month, hmm, what do you think? Can I say for last month or since last month? In Which one month. is better? For last month or for or since? For. Since. 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 Okay, I will give you a sentence so you can choose the best answer. Imagine if I say, hmm, I have um, I have worked in the company da -da 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 -da, last month. So which one is better? I have worked in the company for last month or since last month. What do you think? I'm saying the period of time or when time. the action started. Since. I have worked in the company since last month. Okay. So I'm going to choose since. Then we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. Now, how about a few weeks? Can I say for a few weeks or since a few weeks? What do you think? For, for a few weeks. For, all right. How about last Thursday? Fine. Since last Thursday? Since. Since? Sure. Okay. A long time. For a long time or since a long time? What do you think? For. For? For. For. All right. How about if I say 2019? Since. 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 A week? For. For. Okay. A month? Since. For. Since. Since or for? For a month or since a month? For. For, for a month? Okay. Let's see. L later we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. Oh. Now, for 10 minutes or since 10 minutes? For. For. for for 10 minutes and three o'clock. For three o'clock or since three o'clock? Since. Since. Since okay. three o'clock. For my birthday or since my birthday? For. Since. For. Okay, some of you say for, some of you say since. For. For. Mm, but for, I don't have more space here. I don't have more room. Change among the among the uh... Okay, imagine the sentence if I say, um, no he visto a mi amigo. I haven't seen my friend for my birthday or since my birth uh, birthday. Since. Since. since my birthday? Okay. Well, those are your answers. Are you sure that those are the complete, the, the correct answers? 
Un punto menos por cada mistake. <laughs> so, are they correct? Yes? Are you sure? I think uh, three, three o'clock is four. For three o'clock? Sí. Yes. Okay. And the rest of you? For me, is six. Desde la tres. I remember when the people say since it is about... Uh, when the start the action. When the action is started. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like uh, open since 98. Okay, that's good. Good example. Something like that, I think. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So that is something that you have to remember, everyone. For you have to write or you have to tell me the period. I mean, how long the action lasts. And since is when the action starts. Okay? The beginning. Yeah. Three o'clock is a specific point. Ah, so we are talking about when the action starts, right? So we are going to see the correct answers. Da, 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 da. But then we are going to complete these sentences. So let's see if your answers are correct. Look, all of them are totally correct. So very good job, very good job. So remember, a month, por ahí tenían dudas con el a month. But remember, if I say, um, how long have you worked in a company? A month, estoy dando un punto específico de cuando la action started or I'm saying a period of time. It's a period of is a period of time, exactly. Instead of a month, I can say for a year, for five years. So month is just a period of time. And as your classmate says, three o'clock is just a specific point when the action started, okay? Be careful with that. Now let's complete the sentences. Imagine if I say, I haven't seen you last month so since last month or for last month since since now i will be asking individually okay so let's see let me ask one by one i'm going to start with dun, 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 celia cristina hello celia hello good evening Good evening. Number two, what do you think? What will be the correct answer in the number two? Since Constanza has studied since three o'clock. Okay, nice. Let's see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Edwin, can you read the number three, please? Yes, teacher. Uh... My dad hasn't sleep, slept well for a long time. Okay. We are going to check the answers, but very good job. Let's see. Um, Juan Jose Herrera, can you read the number four? Maggie and I haven't watched TV for a month because we are grounded. All right, nice. Let's see, Carla, can you read the number five? Carla Chavez. Uh, I haven't spoken to Susan uh, for last Thursday. For last Thursday? Are you sure? No, 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 no. <laughs> ah, all right, very good. Very I good. haven't spoken to Susan since last Thursday. All right, thank you. Luis Miguel, can you tell me the number six? Gary hasn't sent me a message. Message? For a week. For a week? Okay, all right, very good. 
And let's see, let's see who else, who else? Carol, Carol Elizabeth, can you tell me the number seven? He has answered the exam for 10 minutes. The style has time. Okay, all right. And the last one, let's see, let's see. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Blanca Hernandez, can you tell me the number eight? Blanca, are you there? Okay, Salvador, can you help her? Number eight, George. Okay, Nelson. Okay, somebody lift her, her hands. Okay, thank you, Abigail. Go ahead. George has been happy since my birthday party. He loved it. Thank you. Okay, everyone. Are you sure that these are the correct answers? Yes yeah. or no? Yes? Okay, yeah. let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Very good job. Excellent. So just remember, for you have to give me period of time. Since you have to tell me when the action started. Be careful with the pronunciation, please. What is the pronunciation of this word? Think. Think. Since. Okay, since sometimes mm. we say signs, but mm -mm. since okay, since is it clear the way that we use since and for? Is it clear, everyone? Yes, yeah, yeah, okay, excellent. Now, mm. is it clear? Let's review the next one from. How can we use from? From is when you tell me when the action starts, but also you have to tell me when the action ends, okay? For example, I stay there from, look, I'm saying when the action starts, and also I'm saying when the action ends. Normally, when we use from, it's very common to use the preposition to, but that is not the only one, all right? What you have to keep in mind is when you use from, we say when the action starts and when the action ends. Important, normally we don't use from in the present perfect tense. It's not common. It's normally just in present or in simple past, but in the present perfect, we don't normally use from. Okay? Now, I want to ask you, and let's see if you remember, when did you study um, high school? So you had to tell me the answer using from. Uh -huh. Do you remember when you started high school? Uh -huh. What is the meaning of high school? High school is bachillerato. Yeah. Correct. I studied okay. high school from, from 1991 to 1993. All right, very good. If you see, he mentioned when the action started and when the action finished. Very good. Who else? Do you remember when did you study high school? I study high school from 27. Okay. Uh, to... Uh, 
Okay, very good. Now, also, instead of to, we can use another one. We can say from and then until. It's basically the same meaning. So I studied high school from, I don't know, for example, uh, 2007 until 2000, I don't know, 2009, for example. Okay, imagine that you want to specify your previous job. Can you tell me how long you studied? I mean, you worked in your previous job for how long you worked there? And you can say, ah, I worked in that company in the previous, right? In the previous company from Ta, 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 until. Uh -huh. Do you remember your previous job? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you remember uh, the period of time mm -hmm. that you worked there? Uh -huh. Tell me. Mm, 29? From twenty, uh -huh. uh -huh. From twenty, no. Primero comienza mar, mes de acá. March twenty nine, twenty twenty one. All right. Until, Until uh -huh. April um, twenty nine, twenty two. Okay. Twenty twenty two. 2022, very good, excellent. So that's the way that we can use from. Remember, from, you have to tell me when the action started and also when the action ends. Is it clear how do we use from, everyone? Yes. Do you have any questions so far? Questions? Sure. Uh-huh. No? No picture. Very okay. clear. Okay. Well, if it is clear, I need a volunteer. Uh-huh. A volunteer, please. Uh -huh. My goodness. Okay. Let's see. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Thank you, Luis. Okay, Luis, imagine, explain me how can I use scenes and give me one example. How you scenes? Yes. For example, you have a restaurant. You try to people understand you have very long time in the industry. You say, I... Uh, Oh, este, perdón, Pupu sería <ríe> eh, Clarisa, since um, 2001. Ah, all right. Everybody, what do you think? Is that sentence correct? Yes or no? I opened my Pupu sería since 2010, for example. Yes? Yes, it's totally correct because he is saying a specific point of time when the action started. Now, Luis, can you pick someone, please? Pick the next volunteer. Okay, the next. Uh huh. Blanca Hernandez. Thank you. Okay, Blanca, are you there? Blanca, hello, hello. Celia, entonces. Okay, Celia. Hello, Celia. Hello. Okay, Celia, can you explain me how uh, can I use from? From use when, when you need to 
express. Uh, how do you say initial to finish? The end and, oh, I mean the beginning and the end. In -in. Okay, is that true everybody? Yes? yes. Yes, very good. Thank you, Celia. Okay, Celia, pick the last volunteer, please. Tony. Tony. Hello, Tony. Okay, Tony is not there, I guess. Pick someone else. Yep. His listener. <laughs> we have tried to pick someone with the camera on so we can see them. Tiling. <laughs> Atilio, uh -huh, Atilio. Ah, Atilio. Okay, Atilio, Sorry, tell me. I, I drive in no pit, no. Ah, it's okay. No Don't worry. All right. My, all right. My, my house, my house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Atilio, tell me, explain me how can I use four? Four. Mm -hmm. um, use periods of time. Yeah. Which one? Uh, use periods of time. For? With with period of time. Okay. Is that correct, everyone? Yes. 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 That's correct. Okay. Excellent. Now. You said that you don't have question and that is totally clear. Now let's do a practice. I have these questions and you have to complete them using since, for, or from, okay? I want you to complete the sentences in your notebooks and then we are going to check the answers, okay? For this practice, I will give you five minutes. Okay, so five minutes starts now. Complete the sentences, please. If you have a question, just let me know. If you have a question, just let me know, please. 
I want to everybody try to do the exercise. Imagine that this is the exam. So we are going to see if you really understood the topic. If you have a question, just let me know. Uh -huh, everybody, did you finish or not yet? Not yet? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Ready? All right, all right. We are going to check the answers, okay? So if your answer is correct, you can check in your notebook. If your answer is wrong, so you can write the letter X, okay? So the idea is that you check if your answers are correct or not. So in the number one, it says it's been raining da -da 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 -da, over 10 hours. So what do you think? Since four, four. four or from? Four. 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 four, are you sure? Yes. Four, that's the one. So if you wrote four, so please check, okay? So number two, I need a volunteer for reading the sentence number two. Me? Uh, I don't know who say me first. <laughs> Abigail. Abigail, okay. Abigail number two, Marvin number three. Go ahead. I haven't seen John since we were at school together. All right, let's see. Very good. Abigail, pronunciation? Sing. Sing. That's the one. Very good. So, everybody, if you wrote sins, check. Marvin, please, number three. Okay. We working from morning to night. All right, everybody. Do you agree? Yes. yes. From morning till night. If you see, we're saying when the action started and when the action finished. Very good. Again, if you wrote that answer, check. 
Okay, I need a volunteer, please, for the number four. Paula has been yeah. living in the same village for over 13 years. All right, four. That's correct. A very good job, very good job. Number five, please. Volunteer. I think Juan was reading too. New teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, it had been raining uh, since Monday. Since Monday. That's correct. Excellent. Okay, number six. Who wants to read? Number six. Work from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. every day. All right. That's correct. From. Remember from. Again, the beginning and the end of the action. Great job. Number seven, who wants to tell me the answer of the number seven? Volunteer, please. Me, teacher. Go ahead. I think, I think I'm going to stay here for another year. All right. That's correct. For another year. Remember here we are saying period of time. Great job. Number eight. Everybody participate, please. Waiting. Here signs this morning. Sorry. Okay. That's correct. Since. Remember pronunciation. Since this morning. That's great. And the last one, volunteer. Yo, Juan Jose. Go ahead. I live in Paris from 2003 to 2009. Very good job. Excellent. So everybody, check your answers. Okay. How many correct answers you had? If you got nine correct answers, great job. If you had a lot of mistakes, and if you didn't understand very well the topic, tell me, I can explain again. And remember, you have the manual. You can study the manual again. Any question? Is there any sentence that you had a mistake or that you didn't understand why? That's the correct answer. Uh -huh. Questions or is totally clear? Uh -huh. Is it clear, everybody? Yes? Yeah, teacher, very yes, clear. Teacher. Okay, excellent. I hope so. Please, if you have questions, just let me know. Now, we already studied since, for, and from. Now, we already practiced grammar. Let's see some others because we are going to study two more. We got four since and from now let's pay attention in the word then when can i use then then is when you want to say look at this a serious event basically guys then is like a sequence for example if i ask you what do you do every day or what is your daily routine you can tell me different actions for example you can say um i take a shower what do you do after that ah i take a shower and then i eat my breakfast. So I'm using the word then to introduce another action. Okay, so then is basically a sequencer. Is it clear the use of then? Yes. For example, yes. 
Yes, tell me. But uh, I use them for connector when you have fission two idiots. No. I'm sorry? When uh, you're connecting? When, I, when you connect two idiots. No. Ideas. Uh -huh, idea. Yes. When I also say uh, uh, I work in, in, the, in my company, uh, then I started my gym. I don't know. That's correct. Exactly. Remember that then is when you want to connect basically two events, two actions. For example, you say, um, I studied English. Okay, imagine you say, I studied English uh, for six months, for example. And then you can say, then I got a new job. So I have two events. I have two actions here. What is the first action? That I studied English. What is the next action? What happened later? Ah, is that I got a new job. So remember, the word then is to connect two actions, two events. Something happened and what happens later? That is when we use then. Yes, is it clear everybody? The use of then? Yeah, teacher. Yes, everybody. If you have questions or if you barely understood, tell me because I can explain or I can give you more examples, okay? Now, what happened with the word until? Look at this. Until basically is when we want to explain the end of the activity. This one is basically you did something and then you had to explain the end. Look at the example. I worked in Panama. That is one action. But when did the action end? Until my project was over. For example, if I ask you about your previous job, tell me about your job. Ah, I worked in Siman, for example, until last year, for example. So, el until is working to identify the end of the action. All right. Ah, I studied English until I learned. Hasta cuando estudiaron inglés? Ah, hasta que aprendí. Okay, hasta que lo manejé super bien. So, I studied English until I learned. How about this class? You can say, ¿cuál es la hora? What time is your English class? Can you tell me the beginning and the end, please? What time is your English class? Mm -hmm. The class is from the class, eight o'clock to 10 o'clock. Until 10 o'clock. Perfect. You see? We can use until to indicate the end of the action. Is it clear, everybody? The use of then and until? Yes, teacher. Are you sure? Very sure. All right, ready for a practice? Ready. Yes? Okay, yeah. let's do a practice then. I have here this paragraph, but this practice is going to be in groups, okay? We are going to work in groups. So I want you to read the paragraph and you have to answer all of this paragraph 
using the prepositions that we studied. Okay, so read carefully, please. You have to analyze what will be the best one. Okay, you can use since, for, you can use until, to, and also you can use this one, long. But what is the meaning of long? Have you ever seen that one? Yes. What is the meaning? Es como largo, no sé, como, como dice, a long time, como mucho tiempo. Exactly. So imagine if you say, you can say, ah, I work in that company long. Normally, this phrase is at the end of the sentence. So you can say, ah, I worked in that company long. So what does it mean? That you work there a lot of time. That is the meaning of long. That means, oof, a lot of time, okay? Now, I'm going to send this exercise on WhatsApp's group. We are going to be in Teams. Please, everybody, try to analyze. The idea to be in Teams is that everybody can share the opinions. Always, we are going to have only five minutes for this activity, and then we are going to check the answers. Everybody participates, please, okay? Imagine that this is an exam, so everybody has to get correct answers, please. Are you ready? Yes? Remember, no Spanish, okay? Let's go to work. No me puedo. Hola, hola. Hello. 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 How you doing, guys? We are fine, thank you. How are you? Ah, so tired. <laughs> okay. I want to finish the class. <laughs> <laughs> are you tired? Yes. I wake up uh five five o'clock in the morning. Uh, the lo que is terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. So somebody can share the screen. En esta ocasión no voy a poder porque En el momento que estaba explicando me tocó sacar el carro porque tuve que hacer un mandadito. Aquí voy conectado en el carro y no, no pude, no pude ver la imagen o entender. A ver si le han mandado a WhatsApp. Yes, it's on WhatsApp's group. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Sorry, I am listening in this class. Yes, no worries. So remember, in this moment, you just need to answer the complete uh, to complete the sentences with the propositions that you consider is the correct one. You can answer in your notebooks, okay? And then we are going to see if the answers are correct or not. Okay. This uh, Nicholas was born in San Salvador in El Salvador in. Tengo una laguna mental con la fecha. Nineteen eighty five or nineteen eighty five exactly. My first she graduated from UCA University. She studied. She studied there. Since twenty. Five to twenty eleven. Since she worked in Malta for seven years. Okay. 
Okay. Mm. Teacher. Yes. We have a question. We can use other time expression or we only have to use a uh, four signs from two and long because in the um, introduction uh, mention only these tiny expressions. No, you can use all of the expressions that we studied. You can use then, you can use until too. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, okay. Okay, oh, then goodness. she worked in Molfa for seven years. Um, Science, she was a child. Uh, science, uh-huh. Science, uh, science, she was a child, a child. Um, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. She did not have, have to wait much to make this dream come true because, because the demo who was the manager. Uh, for for, uh, no, for almost for 15 years. For. For almost 15 years. Retired. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there Science. Uh, science Sing. Uh, 2018. Today, Sing. He, since, uh -huh, since uh, 2019. Today, Nicole is a su success. Sing. Sing. Remember everyone, you can use all the prepositions that we studied. You can use for, then, until, since, long, okay? All of them. Okay. No uh, será long almost. No. Uh, almost is casi. Ah, pues ahí tiene que ser for. Uh, come true because the man who was the manager for almost 15 years. I think. Okay. Bueno. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday until Saturday. Oh, or two, sería. or two, or two, yeah. For from for Monday, from to Monday Saturday. to Saturday, and she loves her jobs. She has not worked there. Has not worked. Mm. She she has worked there. There, but things work. She has a worker. A ver. She has a no trabaja. There. There, dijimos que podíamos usar el, el, el science. Mm, pero no le encuentro lógica ahí. Porque sería, ella no ha trabajado ahí. Pero su equipo como que la apoya. Pero, ¿qué palabra podríamos utilizar ahí? She has a water there. Mm, uh, no, 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 Remember, what is the phrase that I can use to explain a long time? I just explained before the exercise. A long time. Eh, until? Mm, but until is to explain when Change. the action finished. 
Imagine, can I say, I studied a long time. Hmm. So, what phrase can I use to replace a long time? Times? Not really. You got there. The proposition is there in the in the instruction. Okay. The answer is in the instruction. Science? It's not since. Uh uh. From? Not really. For? <laughs> no. Da -da 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 -da. What is the meaning of the last word? Long. Uh, what long. is the meaning? What is the meaning of long? I explained that word before the exercise. Long refer the time. Uh huh. Short or long? What is the meaning of long? Long, eh. Long. A long. lot of, uh -huh, a lot of time. And remember, so we can say she has not worked there for a lot of time. So what can we use here? She has not worked long. Okay, that's the answer. Long. Okay. Very good. So, did you finish? Uh -huh. Do you have all the yeah. answers? Then I know about both, do that. A doubt? Which A doubt. one? Mm -hmm. uh, after 2011. Okay. Seria then. So, she worked in Molsa before, in that sentence? Before. Uh huh. Porque sería there from 2005 to 2011. Uh huh. And después after. Okay, but instead of after, porque after no lo hemos visto, ¿cuál vimos? En lugar de after, we can say. Until. Not really. Science. Mm, ¿Cuál es la respuesta? What is the answer that you have right now? Mm, then. That's the correct one. Yes. Then she worked in da 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 da. -da. That's the correct one. Okay, I'm going to check a uh, one more team. And then we are going to go back to the main room and we are going to verify all the answers. Okay? Okay. Thanks. Very good. All right. Okay. Am I listening to Spanish? No, no, right. no, no only in English. <laughs> uh -huh. mm, all right. We try, all right. To, we try mm -hmm. to, to speak a little bit Portuguese. Ah, interesting. Uh, All right, T uh, tell me something in Portuguese. Parle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, did you finish the exercise, everyone? No, no, you have been a good friend. Sorry, I, I, a, a few months I come here to the to the uh, uh, meeting with my teammates. Okay, <laughs> but your classmates, the rest of the team, do you have the answers or not yet? Um, we are building them. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I will give you, I will give you one more minute because I mean the rest of the teams they already finished. Okay? We need ten, ten minutes. <laughs> ten minutes. I can't. No, no, no. Mind. Sorry. Twenty-five minutes. <laughs> Just the rest of the class. That's <laughs> yeah. con that's convenient. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, come on, hurry up, please. Complete okay, the answer. Okay. I will try. Bye. Okay. When she was a child, she 
wanted to be a manager for a great and important company. She did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the man who was the manager for, uh, for almost 60 years. For almost, for almost, for más o menos 15 años. For almost, for almost, see? Eh? For almost 50 years, yeah. Um, Hasta aquí. Hasta que se retiro. Retiro. His name was Gonzalo and the worker there yeah. since, oh. For, es que... To make this dream come true, the man who was the manager, para hacer este sueño que se volviera a realidad, el, no, el hombre que fue el manager. No Spanish, for, no uh, Spanish. For almost 15 years. For almost 15 years. Uh -huh. Yes, I think so. That's right. His name was Gonzalo and he worked there. Sims. Sims or oh, from. No, since because if you use from, you need to use the end and the fin, the, the start and the finish. And this time, in in this uh, sentence, is only uh, a year. No, 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 no. They say today, today, for the after since work, and he was there since two thousand fifteen. Ah, okay. This, uh -huh. Today. Nicole is a successful person. She works yeah. from Monday to... From Monday to... From Monday to... Uh, from Monday... Move it. From Monday to... Estoy dando duro y mayo que es. Uh, from Monday to... From... From Monday... From Monday to... To Saturday. Oh, I can move it. From Monday to to Saturday, and she loved her. Did you finish, everyone? Yes, we yes? finished. Yes. yes. Excellent. Very good. So, everybody, let's go back to the main room, and we are going to check the answers. Okay. Okay. Hey, teacher. Very good. Okay, time's up. Time's up, time's up. Let's wait for your classmates. All right, all right. Time's up, everyone. Let's go back, let's go back. How was the exercise? Easy or difficult? Or 50-50? Hmm, Fifty. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's wait for everyone. We are going to check the answers. Okay. Let's wait for everyone. Let's go back. Okay, everybody. Did you finish all the groups? Yes. Yes. Very good. So. Excellent. So we are going to verify the answers, okay? Remember, you can use all the phrases that we studied and we have a new one that is long. I explained this phrase before starting the exercise. What is the meaning of long? Exactly, a lot of time. You can say, ah, I studied English long. That means I studied English long time for a lot of time. Okay. Now, 
Um, I need a volunteer for reading from here until here. Volunteer, please. Only Teacher. one. Yes, go ahead. Uh, Nicole was born in San Salvador. El Salvador in uh, oh, difficult number. <laughs> Nineteen eighty-five. 1985, she graduated from UCA University. Uh, she studied there, excuse me, give me a second. Uh, she studied there from um, 2005 <laughs> to uh, 2011. All right. Okay, so she said from, and here she said to. Remember, yes. excellent, very good. Now, remember everyone, if you want to read the years, we read the years two and two. For example, we have 1991. So we first say the first two numbers and then the other two. In this case, we say 19 and then 85. In the case of this one, we can say 20, Five, or you can read the full amount, 2005. In this case, easy, 2011. All right, that's the way that we can read the years. In this case, how can I say this number? Uh -huh. 2015 or 2015. That's correct. So. When we say the date, the years, we say in two and two. 2015, 1991, excellent. Okay, if you have these answers, totally correct. Very good job. I need another volunteer for you uh, to read from here until, let's see, until here. Volunteer, Me please. Teacher. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Then she worked in Molson for seven years. Okay. She, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then she worked in Molson for seven years. For? Okay, for? For seven years. Um, since, she, uh -huh, since she was a child, she wanted to be a manager of a great and important company. Very good. So everybody, if you have these answers, totally correct. Very good job. I need another volunteer, yeah. continue reading. Do you have a question? Sure. Yes. Yes. Uh, when he says since she was a child, we use when she was a child. It's correct. Well, actually, if you say, let's see, when she was a child, she wanted to be manager of a great and important company. You know, actually, it makes sense. Yes, we could use when, however, the idea is to use the vocabulary that we have studied in this class. You can definitely use when it makes sense, but the appropriate answer in this case is since, okay? Now, I need another one to continue reading, please from here. Oops, oops, oops. Mm -hmm. Let's see, until, mm -hmm. until here, please. Volunteer? Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead. <laughs> she did not have. She, she did not have to wait much to make this dream come true because the mo the man who was to manager for almost fifteen years retired. His name was Gonzalo, Gonzalo, and he worked there since 2015. Since 2015. Do you agree with that one in the last one? Since 2015? What do you think? Teacher, maybe yes? until? No. 
Ah, okay. Uh -huh. I have two options there. Why do you think that is since? Why do you think that is until? Which one is the best option? The best option is until because in this case, uh, the, the grammar is specific in the past and the finish uh, in the past time. All 20, right. 20, 2015. Imagine in this case, everyone, the best option is until. Remember, since is when the action started. Okay. And in this sentence, we are saying when he finished. Hasta cuando trabajó ahí? Until 2015. Until 2055. Exactly. So that is what you have to keep in mind. Since is when the action started. Until is when the action finished. Okay. Now I see a, another volunteer, please, to read Me? from. Yes, go ahead. Until here. Go ahead. Who say me first? Me, Abigail. Okay, Abigail, go ahead. Today, Nicole is a successful person. She works from Monday to Saturday. And she loves her job. She has not worked here alone, but her team supports her. All right. So everybody, do you agree? Yeah. Yes, definitely. So in this case, remember we use the word long. So we are saying that she hasn't worked there a lot of time, but her team supports her. So imagine the most important thing here, everyone, we need to know when we can use a specific um, prepositions, a specific um, expressions of time. Now, remember that these ones are not the only ones we have more expressions and we can use different but these ones are like the most commons one observation and this is something that i could identify during the practice please be careful with the pronunciation of this word mm. what is it pronunciation things things mm. Exactly. Just be careful with that one. Okay. Teacher. Yes. I confuse. <laughs> Which one? In the in the example of use things, the sentence is I have worked there since uh, twenty oh five. Mm -hmm. uh, entiendo que lo. In esta, in this one? Ajá, lo veo similar, sí. <laughs> okay, that's a very confusing sentence. Let's analyze the context. In this case, we are talking about Gonzalo. What happens to Gonzalo? Él se retiró, right? Pero desde cuándo trabaja él? Remember, here is the point. Since es cuando la acción comenzó, right? But in this sentence, estamos usando until porque no estamos diciendo cuando empezó la acción. We are saying cuando terminó la acción. ¿Hasta cuándo trabajó él ahí? Hasta. Un, until 2019. 19, 15. I'm 15. So. Yes, exactly. Por eso no podemos decir since. Porque no estamos diciendo cuando comenzó la action. Estamos diciendo hasta cuando terminó la action. That's why we say until. I don't know if it is clear. Yes. Yes. Until, yes. until is in español como antes. Mm -mm. Hasta. No. Ah, hasta. Exactly. So ah. basically, we are saying que Gonzalo trabajó ahí. Hasta el 2015. 
All right, that's what we are saying. No estamos diciendo que él comenzó desde el 2015. No, él trabajó ahí hasta el 2015. So we are saying when the action finished. Por eso no podemos usar since. Is it clear? Me doy a entender? Yes. Yes. Everybody, are you sure? Yes, sure. Very good. If you have questions, please let me know. Remember, you can find more practice on the platform. So try to complete the exercises, please. Okay? Now, we already practiced grammar. We already practiced some exercises. Now we have 10 minutes. <clears throat> Sorry. So before leaving, it's time to practice a little bit speaking. Okay. So I have only four questions because we don't have a lot of time. And I want you to answer these questions using the time expressions that we studied in the class. For example, how long do you want to leave? <laughs> That's a question. And you have to tell me the reason why. For example, you can say, ah, I want to live for 100 years. <laughs> okay, but why? Okay, I want you to tell me why. How long would you like, Oui, sorry, there is a mistake. Would you like to study English? Ah, I would like to study English and you can tell me the answer. Ah, I would like to study English until next year. Okay, that's a good answer. So you can use different time expressions, okay? I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp's group. Please, everyone, sometimes I enter to the groups and I listen to Spanish. And that is not the idea, so please, not Spanish. I'm sending the questions. Everybody try to participate, okay? Um, in these questions, it's not necessary to share the screen, okay? You can just read the questions and the group's answers, okay? Understood the activity, everybody? Yes? Okay, let's go to practice. We don't have a lot of time, so please, everybody, answer the questions. Let's go. Okay. Ahí está. Um, okay, ¿Eh? ready. Um, everybody, how long do you want to live and why? I vamos a ver, en esta sería. Okay, I answer. Uh, uh, I long for uh, uh, nineteen years, and uh, because uh, everybody always uh, lived uh, a long time, and uh, because uh, um, and everybody enjoyed uh, life, uh, different sensation or the. And I don't leave the uh, the friends or the family. Then always live for a long time. Excellent. And you, Stephanie, Charlie, Oviedo. And I, Joel. I want to learn to a uh, lot uh, too much years, I think. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure, and why? Sure, for me. 
<laughs> okay. Um, Atilio, are you there? No. Um, uh... Uh, I mean, how say is it? Hungry, hungry seven. Uh, um, life. Mm. I like. Why? Um, how say is it? No, when he promises. I promise. I promise. I promise. I promise. Um, I studied English. Uh, okay. For one year, yeah. And how long I, would you like to study English? Yes, I, I do too. Because I hope to finish this this course and a one year one year more <laughs> yeah okay it's my goal okay the third question is how long have you worked in your company i have worked there um for 12 year for 12 years 12 yeah okay i start work there since 2010 okay i only had two works in this work uh, i have six years Because I have to take the English lesson and I had to make a report. That is the reason why I sleep only five hours. Six hours? Six hours. Yes. That's not good. Because, I'm... I see wait. it is serious. <laughs> no. <laughs> I wake up learning. No. ¿Cómo se dice? Sí, va. Yeah. Early in the morning. Early. I wake up early. And uh, in the night, I... Mm. Okay, time's up, time's up, time's up. Let's wait for everyone. Could you answer all the questions? Aha, uh -huh. let's see, let's see. Time's up, time's up. All right, how was the questions? Easy or difficult? It's so sad. Sad, oh my gosh, yeah. why? Because I sleep only five hours. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sad. <laughs> I think that's, that's something that happens to all of us, no worries. All of us, it's your <laughs> yeah. fault. My, my fault. Ah, okay. <laughs> Puntos menos, eh, Luis Miguel. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Let's see. Before leaving, everyone, I was just going to uh, check attendance. Okay. So if you listen to your name, say present. So Abigail Mejia. Abigail Mejia. Okay. Andrea Amalia Garcia. 
Ok. Uh, a ti, Ernesto. Sí, no, ya dicho. Thank you. Blanca Elizabeth Hernández. Ok. Eh, Carlos Alberto. Present, Miss. Thank you. Celia Cristina. Present. Héctor Iván. Henry Alberto. Henry Alberto. Ok, thank Here you. Eh, Jorge Antonio Sánchez. Oops, present teacher. Ok, very good. Uh, Jorge Jonathan. José Ezequiel Guzmán. Juan Antonio Elías. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan José Herrera. Present teacher. Ok. Um, Karen Rocío López. Present. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta. Present. All right. Carol Elizabeth Escalante. Present. Good. Kenia Elizabeth. Present teacher. Lady Xiomara. Oh, Present she's. Teacher. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Nelson Orlando. Present teacher. Thank you. Salvador Ernesto. Sandra Abigail. Okay. Stephanie Michel. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Jan Siquelita. Um, Jose Marvin. Yes, teacher. And Edwin Enrique. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Okay, everyone, so tomorrow we will continue with the class. Thank you so much for being in the class. And as always, one of you have to stay. And the winner for today is Carlos Alberto. Carlos, are you there? Hello, Carlos? Hi, Miss. Okay, yes, there you are. Okay, everybody. You can go and Carlos, you stay. Okay, see you tomorrow, everybody. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. Only Carlos stay. Ok, Carlos, uh, yo creo que Andrea no se va porque es she, listener, no worries. Ok, Carlos, ¿cómo estás? Hola, gracias. Hola, gracias. Hola, gracias. Hola, gracias. Hola, gracias. Hola, gracias. So this session is just to clarify some doubts that you can have about the class or about the course. So in this class, do you have a question about the topic? No, not speaking English. No, no entiendo muy mucho el inglés. Ah, all right. Let's let's continue in Spanish. No worries, no worries. Okay, alguna alguna duda eh, sobre el tema de hoy? Eh, eh, pues prácticamente han habido muchas cosas que no he entendido pero este el día de ahora no, no pude anotar lo como hay muchas cosas por ejemplo cómo entender el el for el for el, el sign y cómo cómo identificar dónde se puede colocar es o en qué se puede identificar o poner esa esa abreviatura Ok, vaya, si se fija, eh, sus compañeros enviaron algunos screenshots en el grupo, así que ahí sí. puede ver algunos de los ejemplos de cómo colocamos cada frase. Um, let's review un poquito. Si se fija, basically, para identificarlo, solo tiene que tener en mente en qué momento vamos a usar cada expresión. Así rapidito lo vamos a ver. Por ejemplo, for, simplemente usamos for cuando tenemos un periodo de tiempo, es decir, cuánto tiempo duró la acción. Por ejemplo, aquí digo yo por siete años, por un día. ¿Cuánto tiempo trabajó? Ah, yo trabajé por cinco años. Entonces el for basically es para identificar cuánto tiempo duró la acción. Right? El en since, este, ajá. 
Chao. Ok, en este caso, solo, solo es en años o también va por horas o por días? Con todos. Puede aplicar todos. por todos. Podemos decir okay. por dos horas, por cinco días, por tres minutos. So, cualquier periodo de tiempo, no solo años. Okay. Puede ser años, okay. meses, yes, everything. Okay. El since is a little bit different. El since es para especificar cuándo comenzó la action. Por ejemplo, podemos decir, ah, yo estudié inglés desde agosto o desde el año pasado, desde el 2020. So, ahí no estamos diciendo cuánto tiempo dura la acción, estamos diciendo cuándo comenzó. All right? O That sea is... que think, think lo podemos ocupar como en tiempo pasado. Yes, basically. Okay. Yes. Así okay. que esa es la diferencia entre for y since. Y el from, basically, lo estamos usando para decir desde cuándo y hasta cuándo. Decimos cuándo comenzó la acción y cuándo terminó. Por ejemplo, la clase de inglés. ¿De qué horas a qué horas es la clase de inglés? Decimos, ah, from 8 to 10. Entonces, el from es como cuando decimos de las 8 hasta las 10. O, ¿de qué años, a qué años estudió high school? Ah, desde el 2005 al 2000, I don't know, 7, por ejemplo. So, el from me está indicando cuándo comenzó la acción, pero cuando yo uso from, normalmente digo cuándo inició la acción, pero también cuándo terminó. ¿Yes? ¿Se entiende? Que podría ser como, como past and present. Mm, más que todo lo usamos eh, en pasado o en presente. En presente perfecto casi no lo solemos usar. No, Por okay. ejemplo, si yo le pregunto a usted, ¿de qué horas a qué horas trabaja? ¿Cómo contestaríamos usando from? From 7 a.m. I am uh, to 7 p.m. Perfect. Exactly. Así se usa el from. From decimos cuando inicia la acción y luego decimos cuando termina. Exactly like uh, that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Now, con las otras frases, eh, bueno, basically, las siguientes son muy um, fáciles porque el then, solo tenemos que entender que el then Básicamente lo usamos para mencionar otra acción. Tenemos dos acciones y el then lo que hace es unirlas. So decimos, eh, yo estudié inglés. Después, that is the meaning of then. Después, luego, trabajé. O I studied English. Then I studied French. Yo estudié inglés, después estudié francés. So, estamos diciendo dos acciones y simplemente uso then para unirlas. ¿Yes? Como decir, word, word, uh, use word beta, veterinary, then word eh, restaurant. Exactly, that's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y luego tenemos until. El until simplemente es para identificar cuándo terminó la acción. Por ejemplo, podemos decir, um, yo trabajé, por ejemplo, as a vet. Yo trabajé como veterinario hasta cuándo? Until, eh, hasta el año pasado. Until last year. So, el until me indica cuándo terminó la acción. ¿Ok? Until okay. es hasta el año pasado, hasta que me gradué, hasta que comencé, no sé. Por ejemplo, las personas que se van a Estados Unidos y regresan dicen, ah, I lived in United States until, ¿hasta cuándo vivieron en United States? Ah, until 2022. Yo viví en Estados Unidos hasta el 2022. Ahí terminó la acción. Y luego se regresaron al país. So that is the meaning of until. 
Yes, is it clear? El, el Angel se coloca antes de finalizar como la cuestión. Más que todo para terminar la acción. Cuando terminó la acción, okay. ahí colocamos el until. For example, yo le pregunto a usted, ¿hasta cuándo terminó el bachillerato? For example. Ah, you can say, I studied high school. ¿Hasta cuándo? Uh, until. 20, 20, 20, uh, 11. Okay, yes. So we can mm -hmm. say until 2011. Mm -hmm. okay. Ahí terminó la acción, significa que ahí terminó el high school. So that is the meaning of until. I don't know if it is clear right now. Yes, much better. Yes. Excellent. Um, podemos seguir repasando. Remember, algo que le va a ayudar es la plataform. Así que en sus ratitos libres, yo sé que es difícil because of the time, pero tratemos de practicar en la plataform. Así vamos a ver qué tanto entendimos el topic. Mañana igual me voy a tomar unos minutos de la clase para que podamos eh, repasar un poquito este tema. Ok. Ok, Miss. Very good. Uh, do you have another question? No. No? Ok, very no. good. So, Carlos, eh, well, vamos a terminar hasta acá, así que espero verlo mañana en clase. No falte, por favor, y trabaje en la plataforma. Ok? Ok, Miss. Very good. Oh, good important, night. important, okay. important. Tratemos de participar okay. más en clase, please. Así que yo sé que a veces nos cuesta un poquito, pero entre más participemos, más vamos a aprender. Ok. Uh... Un poco de nervios. <ríe> ah, no, ah, no, pero intentémoslo, sobre todo cuando estemos en los breaking rooms, que es como que habemos más poquitos, tomemos ventaja y tratemos de participar más, ¿ok? okay. Si no, así por nombre lo voy a ir llamando para que participe más, ¿ok? Así que no quiero okay. micrófono apagado, please. Bueno. <ríe> All right, very good. Good night, good. see you tomorrow. Good night, see you tomorrow.